Hey guys, welcome back to Caitlin's Life, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a handstand. So I'm so excited, so let's get, it, get into it. But before we do, make sure to like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications, because we're, um, we're only 7 subscribers away from my dream, which is 500 subscribers. Like, 7 away, so please subscribe, please do it. And yeah, I'm so excited. If we get to like 500, I will be like over the moon. Like, I will be so excited if we get 500. But anyway, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's go. All right, but before we start, let's do some warm ups. So if you guys want some really good warm ups and stretches, because I'm just going to be doing the basics. If you guys want really good warm ups and stretches, make sure to go and check out my other video called Good Stretches to Do Before Gymnastics. Um, I did it with my BFF Flower. It's really good. Make sure to go check out that, and you can check out the whole thing if you want just a little bit of it. But let's just start. We're just gonna do. We're gonna start with our wrist. So the main thing that we need to stretch. So since we're not doing anything like a bridge, we're not using a rubber. So we're probably just gonna do. So we're just gonna start with our wrist because there's gonna be a lot of weight on our wrist. So let's just roll them. We're gonna do. Now, I'm going to do the same thing just together. Spaghetti. I like calling it spaghetti. Okay. We're also going to do it with our neck too. Just in case we, we don't want to hurt our neck. We can, also do it with, we can also do it with our shoulders. Just pull them to go away. We can also um, do this with our back. Like that. Okay. And then you can also get one hand and try to touch your... Oh, so what you can do is you can have one arm going here. Oh, my hair might be in the way. What you can do is you can have one arm going here, one arm going here. You can also try. You want to try to touch your back. So try doing that. All right, and I think we're ready to go. So if you guys are like brand new to handstands, like you've never done them before, I recommend watching this video from the start to the end. But if you guys are like, like kind of, like kind of like kind of new chances but you kind of got it then um don't watch the basics so that i'm going to be starting off with really basic stuff go like maybe go skip to a part where you're not up to yet and okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we we're going to use our wrist the most so the first thing that we're going to do is just go into a shape like this it's like a tight exercise as you can hear we're just going to be doing bunny hops so you're going to go like <laughs> just pick up so you're going to push as high as you can without falling on your back, obviously. Like, just do a few of those. Like, one, two, three. And you can do more if you like. The next step is, you want to do that now, but we're going to try to hold it in the air. So it's the exact same thing, but we're going to try to hold it. So, like this. And then try to hold it. Okay? Sorry, that one was a bad one because I can't find You want to try to stay tucked in. Alright, ready? So do, let's do about four of those. So one, two, three, four. I need one more since my last was a bad one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's kind of tiring. A good amount is probably that. Just do, you, if you remember, you can do more if you want. But I'm just doing what number suits Yeah, just do what number suits you. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do that I said we're gonna be doing it from standing up. Alright? We're gonna be standing up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your arms up and we're just gonna go down. Oh actually, yeah, let we go. We're just gonna go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna So when when you're doing that when you're doing your handstand, you put one foot in front of you, right? Before you go. You click up into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one foot in front of us. And we're just gonna do, and then just do that, okay? So you're gonna, you're just gonna like um, kind of like a big bunny hop. So one, you can just put your feet like that and try to hold it. So let's do about four of those. One, two. This time I'm gonna go closer to the real thing. All right, all right. So and also once we go to the real thing, I'll give you guys some tips on how to do it. Um, 
the certain tips I can give you and the certain tips I can't give you, um, cause, yeah, um, I have a lot of mozzie bites, that's why I'm not doing so much, yeah, anyway, so, so, we're gonna do another thing, so this is closer to the real stuff, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be tapping our leg and then just going down, so you're gonna try and hold that, but you're not gonna go all the way over so you're straight, you're just gonna go like, so you, instead of going like, so instead of going, so instead of us being straight, okay, we're gonna be on an angle. So before you do it, I'll show you what I mean. So same thing, putting whichever foot feels comfortable in front of you, you're just gonna tap your leg and go back down, like this. Okay, so see how I'm not going all the way? I'm just tapping the other way and going, so I'm not going all the way up. So let's do about five of those. One. Three, four, sorry that one was a bit more straight, and then five. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to do the real thing, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to do it in like opposite legs. So usually when you go into a handstand like this, don't try doing the real thing right now, I'm just doing an example. So when you go into a handstand, like this, right? That was a bad one. You land on the same leg you started on. We're gonna be trying to do the real thing. We're gonna land on the opposite leg, so it's gonna look like this. So, sorry, so we start, we're gonna do, so start on whichever leg feels comfortable. You're gonna land on the opposite leg. So I start on this leg and then land on the opposite leg. Alright, try it. Let's do three of those. Two. Oh, sorry. That was a bad one. I'm real sorry. Really sorry about that. And see, that's what Coco I just did. If you guys want to learn how to do that, go check out my other gymnastics video. It's called te Teaching Guys How to Do a Back Bend of Lakota. Go check out that. And let's do our last one. Ready? do more if you like just pause the video if you want to do more okay sorry about my mum um yeah she just had to put food go get something it's kind of urgent but anyway um so now now what you're gonna do is we're gonna try doing the real thing yeah so I will also teach you guys how to walk I can't teach you guys certain tips for private reasons. Um, yeah, the person, this person, this certain person, she's probably watching this video right now, but she taught me these tips, and since they're kind of like um, private, I mean, like, yeah, she told me I can't tell you guys anything, but it's okay, I'm gonna be teaching you guys other tips. They just won't be as good, okay? What you're gonna do is, we're gonna go, do the real thing, it's okay, it doesn't matter how long you hold it for. Um, I'm actually better at walking, so I'll teach you guys how to walk in your handstand at the end. But it's really hard when you're first learning, so don't worry, it always takes practice. So we're going to go up into it, so let's go. So I'm not very good at still handstand, so I might, I might fall down quick. But here we go, okay, ready? Oh my gosh, that was a really bad one, so sorry. Okay, ready? much as you like i'm not going to give you guys a certain number i'm going to do about about maybe five you guys can do as much as you like though so instead of just falling you falling on your back i can teach you guys if i will also make a video on how to do a handstand into bridge okay but yeah so I'm gonna do a few more. I'm gonna do about two more, maybe. Three ish, two. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Will be my last one. <laughs> oh, yes, my last one was actually a good one, surprisingly. Alright, so if you guys.
guys don't think you're quite ready for walking out time you guys can leave the video now if you want and i will teach you more advanced ones how to do a walking handstand but you guys do you think you're gonna leave now bye guys hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash the subscribe button turn on post notifications and i will see you guys later but for the rest of you let's teach you guys how to do walking now. getting the hang of a walking one is hard like don't think you want to get it first try it took me a while to actually get the hang of a walking one um before i teach you guys a walking one i'm just going to show you guys my walking one sorry if i don't quite sorry if i'm not fully in the video and i get out but okay i'm gonna do it maybe from i'm gonna do it from going this time you ready just say my walking ones aren't that good don't expect them to be amazing please don't okay ready That was a very bad one. I'll do a good one. Oh jeez. The one's very close. That's why I keep doing bad ones because I'm getting nervous. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. From way out here. Here's one, I'll do another one. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired, but I'll do one, do maybe one or two more. Uh, oh my god, that did not count for that. face is so red oh no you guys probably can't tell from the camera but my face was kind of red okay so there's some and now i'm going to teach you guys some tips on how to do a walking handstand so before we do a walking handstand you guys probably just did a lot of hands so let's warm up our wrist again do the same things if you guys want you can also try doing this piece a good stretch is put your legs out like this. Keep them straight. They should be straight. You're going to try to get your forehead and nose touching your legs. So like this. So, oh my god, I haven't warmed up today. There we go. Oh, that hurts. Okay, um. So the first tip about walking hands is... Ow, I just stretched my... <laughs> so... So the first tip is, the tip, I said tip, tip, your tip is um, you want to keep your hands flat. You don't want to like go like that. And also don't go super fast. So when you're first learning how to do that, I recommend not going like fast. Just go like take maybe one, then two. I know that will make you fall off, but just get used to it with a knife. Oh, and just saying, don't do this. So when you do when you're walking on your hand side, you don't want your head to be like this, looking. You want you're looking at the ground when you're doing a walking one, okay? Well, yeah, because otherwise you won't know where you're going and you just tumble over. So you will want to look at the ground. I mean, like you just you'll just work that out naturally, basically. But I'm just telling you just in case. So just try a few steps at a time, it's like this. You can go and do one and one two. Just what you can do is don't go right into the full handstand. Just go maybe like halfway and just get used to it like this. Like that maybe. You can and try. So like like that. Don't go all the way in. So like. So don't go all the way up. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. And then once you've done a few of those, maybe you can go a bit higher. Just do a few steps like. Okay, that was a bad one. Like this. So you can just do a few steps like that. And I also recommend. Okay, I'm gonna use one tip, like one tip. That 
if you understand, then you will understand. Um, like, you might understand from what I said earlier before. I'm going to use one tape, yeah. If, um, so if you're going to fall, walk that way. So say if I'm going to fall, say if I'm like this and my legs are going to come over and I'm going to fall on my back. I'm going to walk that way. So I don't fall that way. Say if I'm going to fall back down so I go back onto my feet, I'm going to walk that way. Like, oh, I'm not that good at the strategy, but you can just try it to like this. Sorry, I'm not like here. I'll try again. Like that. And another tip is Yeah, just like just like yeah, I don't know, like it takes a while to get the hang of it. You just really just need a yeah, don't try like you wanna keep your hands straight and I recommend if you don't know how to do a handstand into bridge and if you don't know how to do a handstand into bridge, so you don't, since so if you don't know how to do that, just don't fall on your back. I recommend watching. Don't try doing a walking handstand until you know how to do a handstand into bridge. Otherwise, you'll just fall right onto your back, and it'll really hurt. I would do an example, but I don't really want to hurt myself. But I'll just, I'll try doing it. But I might just naturally put my feet up. I'll try landing on my back. I don't know if I'll. Oh my god, this is gonna be so painful. I might get winded. Wait, hold on, I got scared. Okay. Sorry, I just naturally landed on my feet. But if you do that, you'll just land on your back. So I recommend learn how to do a handstand into bridge before you try, before you try doing a walking handstand. A handstand, yeah. And I will make a, I said bridge. I will make a video on how to do a handstand into bridge. I have made a video on how to do a flick over out of a bridge. If you don't know what that is, it's this. <laughs> and landing back on your feet. But I will make a video on how to do, how to, you know, do a handstand into bridge, which is this. <laughs> okay? And if you already know how to do a flick over, you can do this. Just do loads of things. If you already know how to do a flick over and you learn how to do a handstand into bridge, you can just do this. Flip back over. This. Flip back over. Just do lots of those. But anyway, if you guys want more tips on how to do it, that's how you can go check out other videos. Not from my channel, because this is the only handset video on it. Just go check out more videos and I hope this helped. Um, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.